be Aiden Johnson here with a video on checking your form, whether it be mirrors, whether it be video, uh, the do's and do nots, etc, etc, etc. Basically, the first thing to get across is checking your form is paramount, it's incredibly important, whatever uh, lift you're doing, being able to see and know that you're lifting in a way that is correct, it's very difficult to feel that you're, especially when you start and you're new, to feel you're lifting in the correct way, bad habits will creep in, your form will degrade over time as the weight gets heavier, all kinds of bad things happen if you're not checking your form, but that being said, there is a big difference between mirrors and video. The difference is, video, and it seems at first that mirrors may be better, but anyway, video, you record yourself, you do your lifts, you go back, you look at your videos, you go, oh my god, I thought I was getting to depth on those squats, or oh my god, I really thought that my back was straight on those deads, oh, oh my god, I really thought I wasn't bringing shoulder into my bicep curls, and then you analyze that, you appreciate that, you try again, you record yourself, you check the improvement, eventually you get it right, bingo, great. Though not as immediate as mirrors, you get to see exactly what you did, without any influence and you get to change it and then go back and see if your, your changes have, have materialized. Mirrors, a more immediate change, because you can see, look in the mirror, you can see yourself squatting, you see things and be like, oh, let me fix that, let me change that, great. But apart from one problem, if you are lifting heavy to any degree, a mirror is incredibly dangerous for any lift that's worth doing, that's worth checking yourself in a mirror for, which is why I will say now to everyone, do not use mirrors, do not look at mirrors, avoid mirrors, your gym will be full of mirrors because gyms love mirrors, they are poisonous to your gains. What you will do is you will look at the mirror and it will take attention away from your lift in a way that's either dangerous or incredibly dangerous. If your mirror say in front of you, you will alter your eyes from the focal point that you should have and that may slightly curve your spine. For instance, let's say you're doing a squat, right? I teach people to keep your head like this when you're doing a squat. If the mirror's a little bit higher, you'll do this to look in the mirror naturally. Or if the mirror's a little bit lower, you might do that. This will alter the shape of your spine. Different spine, yeah? That is a small, tiny difference, right? It's bad, dangerous, but not as bad perhaps is if the mirror is you see this? Because what that will make you do is this. And what happens when you twist your head? Your spine changes alignment, weight on your back. Let's say you're squatting, let's say you're real strong, you're squatting 140 kilos, right? You've got 140 kilos strapped onto your back, loaded throughout your spine symmetrically. You do this. The second you do that, all the weight changes and shifts throughout your body. Starts asymmetrically loading your spine in one way, shape or form with a massive weight on you. That is incredibly dangerous. That will hurt you. Avoid mirrors like the plague, record yourself and make changes based on that. Even though it's not as immediate, you won't be able to change as you're doing it, it is much safer and much more correct than using mirrors. Any mirrors that you see, if, they're in, if the, the mirror's in front of you, they're practically useless anyway. You can't really check much. Let's say, let's assume on a, like look on a deadlift or a squat, the main things you're gonna wanna check in a mirror, this, it's not gonna give you much information looking straight ahead of you. It's not gonna really show you depth. It's not really gonna show you any, much of anything. If it's to the side, it will show you more because it will be able to show you your spine. Yep which is the main thing that you're gonna to wanna to look in the mirror for these big heavy lifts. But to look to sides to, to, to check out those mirrors, you're gonna hurt yourself. Now, it won't really be a problem if the weight is light, but if the weight is light, what's the point in checking your form? Your form will be fine on an incredibly light weight. Everyone could do a perfect deadlift if they're picking up one kilo. But once you start getting heavy and you might be interested in your form seeing if there's any degradation there, well, I've been over that. So hopefully it's been some help. Bradley and Joseph at gmail.com. If you have any queries or theories or suggestions or anything, let me know. Other than that, like the video, like my Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and of course, subscribe. Peace.